If you are watching this video, you are probably gay. Even if you are not a subscriber to the channel, but merely sampled upon the video in your feed on YouTube, you are probably gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. YouTube knows you are gay. Follow the yellow brick Before I could upload this week's top 10 video, I experienced some technical difficulties and needless to say the video was lost. Dear God, no! Despite numerous attempts to retrieve the video, uh, the video remains lost. But I will reconstruct the video for next week Saturday. In the meantime, I took some time to go through the comments. And though most of the comments was overwhelmingly positive, there were some comments that was negative. Some of them directed at me which I can ignore. But some of the comments was blatantly homophobic. Some of the comments included, what's up with all these gay references? We are not interested in whether he was popular with the gay community or not. What's up with all the gay stuff? We really don't care to know that gay men like these guys. Have some respect and take out the G word, not necessary. The G word obviously referring to the word gay. This channel is directed at gay men featuring vintage entertainment. Even the name of the channel is a dead giveaway as to the premise of the channel. The phrase, friend of Dorothy, is relatively obscure today, but it was a term that was popularized in the 1940s and 1950s when homosexuality was widely considered taboo and illegal in many places. So, who came up with the phrase, friend of Dorothy, and why? It's widely agreed that Frank Kameny, who was a prominent gay rights activist, came up with the phrase. The phrase, friend of Dorothy, came from the film, The Wizard of Oz, which was released in 1939. But what does this film have to do with being gay, besides the music and colorful setting? The Wizard of Oz is a colorful spectacle that stood the test of time. Unable to live their lives freely and express love like straight people, many gay guys felt trapped. Frank Kamini drew parallels between Dorothy, entering Oz, to the drab straight world, and colorful gay possibilities. Kansas is portrayed as colorless and depressing, while Oz is colorful and full of life. Dorothy doesn't hesitate to embrace the colorful world of Oz, symbolizing a willingness to live one's true self. The thumbnails of the videos are extremely gay in all of its neon-colored glory. So something made these homophobes click on the videos. I'm pretty sure they scroll past videos they don't want to watch on a daily basis. So why linger on a video to leave a hateful comment? Why is online trolling so prevalent today? Why do trolls say stuff they wouldn't normally say in real life? According to Psychology Today, a person is more likely to troll from behind a screen than face-to-face -face due to a false sense of security and anonymity the internet creates. In a piece published by the New York Times in 2012, one theory is that homosexual urges, when repressed out of shame or fear, can be expressed as homophobic intolerance, especially when coupled with the false sense of security the internet provides. So now we understand internet trolling, but how did my video end up in the video feed of internet homophobe trolls? In simple terms, the YouTube algorithm works by analyzing your past viewing behavior and engagement on the platform to recommend videos it thinks you'll enjoy. It considers factors like your watch history, likes, and comments to suggest similar content. Additionally, it looks at video metadata titles, descriptions, and tags to understand the content. The algorithm aims to keep you engaged on the platform by showing you relevant videos and, in turn, keeps you watching and interacting with more content relevant to your viewing preference. So there you have it. Homophobic internet trolls might not want to face the truth, but YouTube knows them better than they know themselves. From the viewing habits, the YouTube algorithm was able to determine which videos will be most suitable for them to watch. And clearly a channel directed at gay men was the most suitable channel to suggest to them. You know that old saying that kids used to say back in the day, jealousy makes you nasty? Perhaps there's some truth to it. Perhaps internet trolls are just that, jealous. Jealous because they have to live a life of secrecy while other men live their life loud and proud. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe so you can stay up to date as soon as I post new videos. I post videos every Friday, Saturday and Sunday. For a similar video to this one, click on this link.